I think I've learned a lot about, I, I think I was familiar so far with what the variety of nutrition interventions were and what kind of things we as CIF, as a philanthropy organization, want to fund in order to improve child nutrition around the world. But I think what I've learned now is the evidence base underlying all of those interventions and where the evidence is clear and we're doing something that's proven and where the evidence is unclear and we're trying to test different hypotheses. And that's been really useful. Yeah, um, I plan to put on put these lessons into action in a couple of ways. One is around uh, my due diligence of partners I might want to fund by looking at their programs or their programmatic proposals. I'll be able to understand a lot more of what is known to be effective and what again is a trial. But I think I'll also lose, use it in my advocacy work that I manage or my representations to government themselves around what do good nutrition programming programs look like and how we can ensure we're having the most cost-effective and dramatic impact. Uh, I think at the end of the day what we understand about nutrition is that it is complex and the evidence that is being brought to us shows that the issue is complex but now when you get to the solutions it is more or less about working with the households and individuals and we need to work together as different sectors looking at that household at that household or a child at the end of the day and that is really what can bring us together as different sectors yeah i think one of the things that has got reinforced while being here is the criticality of adolescent girls to eradication of child malnutrition I think we've known it here, um, it's part of the discourse, but this has come home again with a bank. That uh, much more, much more needs to be done as far as adolescent girls are concerned in terms of policy, in terms of implementation, because at the end of the day, I think malnutrition is the biggest gender issue today. And this course has reinforced that. Uh, there are many things, like uh, uh, yesterday there was a lesson on uh, uh, community management of acute malnutrition in other countries, what are the various types of uh, RUTF and what are the issues which are being raised by many people about the CMM and RUTF program. Definitely these, uh, this lesson is very important. Today they talked about various nutri nutrition specific programs and uh, WASH in particular. I think these are very relevant for India, for Rajasthan because uh, hygiene and sanitation factors have an impact on nutrition. The major lessons I'll take back home is uh, we need to plan for improvement of nutrition indicators higher than what the way we have been planning. I'm talking in terms of the, the cycle, the life cycle. We don't need to wait for the child to come. We need to start working even on the mother right from adolescence because that determines the product she will bring forth even when she's pregnant. So we don't need to wait until pregnancy. Most times we wait until pregnancy and before we start bringing in nutrition interventions. 